after I uploaded this video up here in which I shared my experience traveling from the US to Morocco during the Christmas holiday and so I wrote down most of the questions that I received and will try to answer them today starting by question number one can I travel to Morocco right now as an American citizen now the number one reliable resource that you want to check is the website MA dot us embassy.gov this is the website by the u.s embassy and consulates in morocco they do a great job of keeping it up to date and the information that i'm reading right now is last updated january 14th of 2021 and so basically this website has all of the necessary information that you need to know as far as travel restrictions to morocco what do you need what type of tests and documents are needed what to expect when you get there and even some useful numbers when you get to morocco now the website as of right now states clearly that no nationals of morocco who don't need a visa to enter the country just like americans are allowed to travel to morocco as long as a you show a negative covid19 pcr test and b you have a reservation with a hotel in morocco or with a travel agency now that answers the question about the ability to travel to Morocco. The only thing to note when it comes to the test and the hotel reservation, when it comes to the test, it has to be a PCR test. They won't accept a rapid test document that you are showing, whether it's printed or on your mobile phone, it has to show your first name, your last name, negative results, and the test type has to be PCR. And then the other question that I received around the hotel reservation is, can I go with an Airbnb reservation? Now, this is a tricky question. I did talk to some people who just traveled recently to Morocco and they confirmed that they were successfully able to get in with an Airbnb reservation. But if it was me and I had to choose between a hotel or an Airbnb, I would definitely go with the hotel just to avoid any problems or issues with officers when I get to Morocco so the next question I have here is do I need to quarantine once I get to Morocco no there are no requirements to quarantine when you get to Morocco do I need to get tested when I arrive to Morocco no you don't have to get tested once you arrive to Morocco however there is a travel declaration form that you have to show this travel declaration form basically has some information about you passport number nationality and where you are going to stay I'm going to leave a link in the description description box with the form so that you guys can print it fill it in and be ready to show it when necessary so really make sure that you are checking the website make sure that you are calling the airlines that you are flying with in case you already have a reservation all right moving on to the next question can i use public transportation when i get to morocco yes you can use public transportation and do i have to wear a mask in morocco yes it is mandatory to wear a mask in morocco whether you are going to public places or taking a walk or even in your car it's quite different compared to what's going on here in the us if you fail to follow the rules you will be fine and i do know someone who got a fine of 35 us dollars is there a curfew in morocco yes there was and there is a curfew in morocco as of right now the curfew runs from 9 p.m to 6 a.m and most of the restaurants restaurants businesses and hotels are closed by 8 p.m so just keep that in mind you don't want to get in trouble with the authorities in there and also you want to make sure that you are planning accordingly because when you have to be back to your hotel by 8 p.m or 9 p.m uh, you don't have as much time as usual so make sure that you do have a better plan going into morocco the next set of questions are related to leaving morocco and coming back to the u.s and the main question is do i have to get tested before leaving morocco yes you do have to get tested before leaving morocco for two reasons a there are new requirements with the cdc to enter the us you do have to present results of a negative covid19 test and number two is if you are flying from morocco to the us you're going to be transiting to another country most likely european country i had my transit in france and so france is one of those countries that is requiring a pcr covid19 negative test in order for you to go through the transit so just keep that in mind and a few other questions are regarding getting tested in morocco yes there are facilities either hospitals or private labs where you can get tested now my advice to you when you arrive to morocco make sure that you take the time before you start anything to locate where those labs or facilities are located make sure that you talk to them and you understand the cost and the turnaround time just to kind of share a little bit about my experience i was able to get tested in there and so i was not able to make an appointment online so 
they told me you just have to show up and then you just go there is a line that forms outside of the lab I went in very early in the morning this may be a good tip for you to go early in the morning I went in there uh, and then they did the, the no swab they took my information I paid out of pocket around 75 US dollars and so I went back home I asked them if they can email me the results they said no you have to come back in here and collect it yourself and the turnaround time was 24 hours so just the day after I was able to go back and get my results so just keep in mind all of these logistics and possibilities just so that you have enough time and you have enough money in order for you to get tested and lastly there are a few resources that I would like to share with you guys number one is a mobile application built by the Moroccan government called Wiqayatuna the word translates to our protection and this is a mobile application made by the Moroccan government in order to help you. It's got a lot of information about cases by region, as well as some useful information to keep yourself protected, useful phone number to reach out to in case you have any symptoms or you need any help. The only thing to keep in mind is that this mobile application will require you to enter a Moroccan phone number once you download it. And by the way, it's available for both Android and iOS. So make sure that you do purchase a SIM card. They're very cheap when you get to Morocco so that you can take advantage of the app. You will have to keep your Bluetooth activated this way if there are any confirmed positive cases around you they will reach out to you or at least send you notifications so that you are aware and then the second resource is a website called visitmorocco.com this is a great website where you can find a lot of resources about traveling to morocco during the pandemic the regulations in morocco this is where i got the form or the travel declaration form that i attach in the description box you will also find some resources and guides if you are traveling in morocco i hope that you guys found this video to be Useful. and if you did please do give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel enjoy Morocco travel safe and I will see you very soon on a new adventure